I genuinely hope you can't see under this desk because I'm pulling a Zoom corporate meeting and I'm not wearing any pants. Hi you guys, my name is Stella Williams and today we are gonna be window shopping. Stella, why are we window shopping now? Instead of just shopping and showing us what you buy. <laughs> because I am saving for a wedding. Do y'all know how much weddings cost? A lot. My style is pretty different from my follower's style. So what we're gonna be doing today is window shopping together and I'm gonna be taking from your suggestions what I should be buying from What Low Wants. Now this is a pretty special thing because if you aren't familiar with What Low Wants, it's a plus size, affordable, sustainable company. I've chilled on buying a lot of fashion over the last year because I'm trying to lead a more sustainable life. And although I still buy from fast fashion brands, it's definitely reduced from what I've had before. The goal here is progress, not perfection. Now the owner of What Low Wants is Lauren Gray and we've become quite the internet friends. <laughs> she has sent me a few pieces before and I actually filmed a try on haul for you guys of her clothes, but it was my last day in my apartment and it felt rushed. And I felt like my friend deserved more than that. We've been talking recently and she wanted to send me some more pieces from a lace collection, but I thought, hey, it'd be more fun if we got more than just the lace collection and I did a complete haul for you guys. And I guess before we get too into it, if you look at my eyes and you're like, Stella, why are you wearing color on your eyes? Since when are you that fun? Since I found a small business that had an eyeshadow palette that made my eyes more fun. This is Adriana Nicole Cosmetics. She's on TikTok and I actually found her and I purchased it immediately because it looked fantastic and she was solving a problem in the makeup industry. And then when I bought the product, I commented on the video saying, got the product. She said, hey, I've been following you for years. And I thought, wow, that is how the creator economy should work. So in the spirit of keeping the money in the family, shout out to Adriana Nicole, I'll link the video down below and the link for her eyeshadow palette. Do you guys remember the days you'd have to put like the white base and all that? I didn't have to do anything like that with this. So Adriana Nicole, Thank you, and I really love your palette. Let's go. When I talk about what low wants, one really important thing for me is the ethics. So let's go ahead and give that a shot first. So the fashion industry is the second most polluting industry in the world. What low wants is proud to do things differently by producing ethically and intentionally in any way we can. They look to more ethical and slower alternatives to help the planet out. And fat babes want nice clothes too. Fat babes care about the earth, which is so true. This is all the ways that we are sustaining the earth. We use combination of recycled and compostable mailing cards, tissues, mailers, and garment bags. All of their production is done in small batches in downtown LA. It is also created in minimal quantities, which is true because when a drop drops with what low wants, it sells out. So you better be on the mailing list. But the good thing is she does do restocks, so that's really good too. Any unavoidable garment and textile losses donated to local organizations and charities. All of our production partners are within a 10 mile radius, helping to reduce the carbon footprint. And for price points and quality, we have got certificate dyes, natural fiber, and recycled dead stock fabrics, which are fabrics that companies can't use or won't want to use um, to create the products, which is great. And balance of our use of synthetic fabrics. Uh, I do believe Reb Dolls uses dead stock fabrics too. So that's something you guys could know if it might help you shop. In the first message she sent that anything from the lace collection she'd like to send. Anytime this site drops cargoes, gone so if there's cargoes here i'm gonna get some cargoes i also have a lot of clothes i received before so definitely expect a try on haul after this so let's go have fun all righty so we're gonna look at the shrug first like this is really cute this is an outfit i could see me wearing in the springtime i do notice that what low once sizes run extremely cautiously true to size and what i mean by that is if you are kind of a 2x i feel like what low wants is more forgiving so how i like to wear 2x and how a lot of my followers like to 2x is very different i want my clothes to be a little more snug a lot of my followers enjoy the true fit so i'm letting you know that now if you are confidently a 2x and you want a confident 2x get it in your true size if you are a 2x but you're like me and you want things to fit a little bit tighter to my body I'm gonna order a size down and get a 1X. I'm really loving this outfit. I would probably not do the same kind of top. It is definitely giving comfortable and cute. So we're gonna just keep that tab open. Now this top right here, I do have in the dress and the top. It's my favorite. It is my favorite. And I cannot wait to break that out when it gets, it was snowing yesterday. It didn't stick, but hello. Ooh. The tube top, I love a good tube top. We're gonna have to put that on the list. Oh my gosh. The cut out jumpsuit. Oh, but do we like it in brown? I think I like that green. This is Abriana. I worked with her. Abriana was head of the campaign that I was able to be Fashion Nova's first size 24 model. To see her living her dreams now, modeling on sites, it's an absolute pleasure to watch in such a dream. Love you, Abriana. I'll tag her down below too. This is gorgeous. I like this ring in the middle. 
and I'm curious to know how this is gonna fit my girls. Clearly the clothes are made for plus sizes. So I'm curious how my girls are gonna hold up for that. So for that, I'm definitely gonna get it in a 1X. Like this kind of skirt, it's giving Kai, but like her version of it with the cutout and it's very trendy right now. So let's see what's going on there. And then the cargos guys, the cargos, if these are in stock, I'm gonna be shocked. Okay, this is like a couple collections ago, but it's still really, really cute. And I actually think I have the top. And then now we're getting some older collections, which is still just as fine. I have a lot of these things I'm really excited to show you guys, but I think we should go through each of the things I've picked. Okay, this is another one of my friends. This is Lydia, she's a model now. I lived in LA. I actually hired her to do a bikini shoot with me and now to see her living her dreams. I've been thinking about doing a modeling shoot kind of like that on the East Coast for aspiring models and stuff. If you think that sounds interesting and that would be something you would be into, let me know because I love using my platform to help. Always, look at God. Halter tops always do good things for the girls i have some of these gabby okay i met gabby she looks like me right here which is hilarious because we look like twins i met gabby because i posted her on a TikTok. i didn't know her And I was just referencing something that she was wearing on this site and I made a TikTok and went super viral and everyone was tagging her in it. And she's like this huge model. She models for Nike all the time. She does a lot of like dating tips on TikTok. Um, and we've been trying to link up, but we're always not in town at the same time, but we're, it's gonna happen. Gabby, it's gonna happen. We're gonna link and we're gonna have so much fun. Guys, I need this skirt. Like I need this skirt. Like point blank period, I need the skirt. I'm gonna have to buy the skirt. Y'all will see these. I have a lot of these dresses already. Let's go through each item. So I think this is something different for me, this top and bottom. Now, I would like to give this a shot. So I'm gonna get the shrug. These are the only things I'm gonna ask for because she said lace and I don't wanna take advantage. We're gonna get the shrug in a 2X. That's my true size and that looks like something I don't want really tight, especially it's on my arms. And then the bottoms I'm gonna get in a 2X. So, we oh, it's a skirt. Yeah, I really like this, y'all. And I'm really curious to see what I'll end up putting under it. But I love it. I, lo I think I'll go like more on the girl on the right with the um, full brief on the bottom and the bra. Or I might combine it, like do a full tube top bodysuit moment with the skirt. That way it's just one cohesive thing. I'm a little more modest in my dress lately. Probably gonna not be too revealing underneath. But yeah, we're gonna go give her some more ratings and we're gonna get both of these in a 2X. So this is what I'm gonna ask for in my gift and wear that for you guys. Now this tube top. Now I used to have a tube top and all the time people are like, where are you wearing it? Where do you wear it? Or like, where's it from? Where's it from? And the reason I think people liked the tube top is because I have fat pockets right here and it covered the fat pockets right here. Now I can see the model is not wearing a bra. I do wear bras with my tube top, with the combo of my Lovelet bra. Everyone's like, where do you get your strapless bras? I used to say Skims and Lovelet, but the I say the Skims one if you don't like wired bras, but the Lovelet bra is so affordable and it is that girl. So I'll link that down below too. I would definitely wear the Lovelet bra strapless with this. And then this is long enough to cover my top. And the reason I don't wear the tube top I used to wear that people will compliment is because I did lose a little bit of weight and it no longer fits. So because of this, I am going to get the tube top in a 1X. That'll be great. I love nothing more. And it's double lined. And it looks like it's gonna stay up with no tape. I love nothing more than a tube top that will cover my fat pockets. No shame in my fat pockets, I'll wear them out. But for the aesthetic of an outfit, like you can make a tube top look really casual or really beautiful. Some of my best outfits are a blazer type cover or a blazer type jacket with a tube top and a skirt jeans something like tube tops will change your outfit that's the girl we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and add that to the cart next we have the shimmer cutout jumpsuit now she's giving oh my gosh this is so cute the back is a black mesh paneling i love how much effort she puts in all this i love it let me look at the size guy because now i'm getting nervous 1x is a 14 16 so we don't want that i am an 18 so we're gonna get this in a true size so I don't know if I'm married to this yet. I will take your guys's advice on this one. So I'm gonna star the ones I'm like for sure on and then I'll get your guys's opinion on this. I think it's really cute. It's just not my style, but you guys like different things than me and you may want me to try it and maybe I'll like it. 
Maybe I'll like it. All right, next, this is the top. Like I have to have this top. I have to have it and I have to have it in a 1X because I want to know, I want it to hold my boobs a certain way. My fat pockets will be out on this. I'm already letting you guys know that so no one come for me. That skirt is so cute. Polyester, rayon and spandex. Okay, let's see what it's saying. I would say I'm a true 1X and the top was tight on my arms. I bought this green shade too and that one's softer and stretchier for some reason. It felt scratchy, zero effort to return because of my silly little brain. All right, only giving two stars because it came broken. Okay, well they'll replace it. So why would you give people two stars? Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. So what she's saying, it was tight, but she also got it in green. Um, No, I want it in black. I want it in black. So this is this is something I would love. I'm gonna star it. Let me know what you guys think or like if you think I should just get my true size. I'm open to that too. Like I don't know if I should get it in a 1X or 2X because of that review. If you were shopping this, you were where I am right now, what do you think? And the skirt, the skirt too. So let's look at the reviews because skirts for me. Okay, unfortunately like the top goes with this skirt. The material's a bit scratchy. I don't know, very long and heavy for me. You just like to complain. All right, this cargo, guys. The cargo has to happen. Like the cargo sell out every time. I don't know why it doesn't have reviews. The cargos are that girl. Now the thing about the cargos is I would definitely have to size them up because I love a baggy cargo. Absolutely love a baggy cargo. I love this. I love this. And I think I would get this in a 3X because I want it baggy. Like nothing makes me happier than a baggy cargo. Okay, next, this jacket is really cute. And I love jackets like this. I love jackets like this oversized. I think I want it in white too. I don't think I want it. Oh, the brown was cute too, wasn't it? I think I put that right there. No, I didn't. Um. No, I have like a couple brown jackets. I'm not really like an other color person. I think the white is really the one. It looks really good, but I would want that super oversized. So we're gonna say Leah jacket in a 3X2. I think that would make me really happy. Okay, next we have this skirt. Like I am such a skirt girl. I want it in black. I want this skirt and I do want this in my true size. So we're gonna get this in a 2X. Now this outfit, ah! okay, imagine the black skirt we just saw with this top and a thigh high boot, bitch. I don't even cuss no more, sorry God, but four plus four is eight. That would be so cute. I need this. I need this, Natalie in a 2X, I need, like this is a need. See, I love the outfit. Hey Gabby, I do love this outfit. Now, I don't really wear cargos like this anymore without shapewear just because of my stomach, like I have more loose skin. Um, and it's just really, it's really protruding and stuff like this. So I'm gonna pass on this outfit. Again, let me, let me know if you guys are like, no, you should definitely try it. I'm not even gonna write it down, I think I'm cool off of it. So what's the other thing I didn't star? Let's go look one more time because I already forgot. Megan, oh yeah, see I love this. I just am not sold on it yet. I do love this, it's just different for me, but it's not a no. Like the, the other outfit was a no, this is not a no. I just need to know what you guys think. That is my What Low Wants window shopping. Thank you for window shopping with me, but I literally cannot do this without you. So let me know down below what your favorites were. Definitely that camel top with that skirt. I can't wait to stunt with for y'all. So that has to happen, but everything else, I'm definitely open to suggestions. I would love to get this stuff purchased in the next week because last thing too, if you didn't hear, I'm doing like my pre-launch for our Bali trip of July, 2025. So if you wanna come to Bali with us, there's a couple of us already signed up. The link for that trip will be down below. And other than that, I uh, can't wait to hear what you guys hear. Don't forget about Adriana Nicole and her beautiful eyeshadow palette. I feel really fun in this. Thanks, Adriana Nicole, for following me, and I'm glad I got to support your business. Um, I'll see you guys really, really soon. Love and light. Bye-bye.